Secret of a Small Biz Segment highlights a bookstore in Waterville. Marlia Clifton joins us now in the studio with more. Hey, Marlia. Hi, Sally. Thank you. Opening a business at the beginning of a pandemic can be really scary. A local bookstore owner did just that with the hopes of turning her love for books into a business. Me and photojournalist Mark Redeker went to Oliver and Friends in Waterville to find out how she made it happen. There you are. You're all set. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming in. Have a good afternoon. Renee Cunningham just opened her newest bookstore in Waterville. She was previously located in Belgrade, but five years ago, her store was just a dream. Once I decided that it was time to take a shot and turn this dream into a reality, first thing I did was to start to research to see, is this feasible? Can my passion turn into a business. Step two was I had to learn how to be a business owner. I was a reader, I loved books, I had a passion, but how do I translate that into a small business? When she was finally ready to open the doors to her first store, she ran into an unexpected obstacle. My first spot was this lovely little space in Belgrade Lakes Village, great place to start my business. And then I got to the fun part, which was ordering all the books. Um, my plan had been to open, have a great big grand opening celebration in June of 2020. Um, we all kind of know how that story went. I was worried about would my business make it through the pandemic, which all of the small businesses, we were all in that boat. Um, so it was, it was a very stressful time, but it also was one of those things where something beautiful came out of it because what I found was that the community stood on their heads to support me and they were so excited about my business. While she may be an avid reader, she still had a lot to learn about books when she opened. My biggest learning curve is learning how to curate um, and choose books that will appeal to everyone. And it's it really is a learning process. I spent a lot, a lot of time looking through book catalogs. I've really become a student of my customers and I let them guide me. This year, she made the choice to move her business to Waterville. The cool thing is I'm still seeing all of my Belgrade customers. When I decided that it was time to make a switch for my business, to make sure that the business was going to be here for the long haul um, in being a big enough market that I could continue, all of my regular customers from that area just said, great, we absolutely think that's the right move for you. And I, I see them as much, if not more. The name Oliver and Friends came from her second passion in life. Oliver is one of my cats. Um, I, in addition to being passionate about books, I always say I'm passionate about animals. We have a house full of rescues. You have uh, pets that sometimes are just like really special to you. And um, as you can see, I had a great face for a logo. So oh, there's that. Absolutely. That was a look behind how Renee opened the doors to Oliver and Friends. In the next hour, I'll share more about Renee's store and how she made the business uniquely hers. Back to you.